get it. 429, it's all day long. Um, what's difficult about this combo, guys, is the timing. So in your top left corner on your screen, you have everything I just did there, except for the trait, which is the down forward four. You call it back by pressing the four again. So it's difficult to get the back three. That's fairly inconsistent for me. I don't know how it may be for you, but find whatever works for you. My best suggestion is um, when you see him launching up in the sky and he's at the peak of coming down, then you hit the back three and it lands the most consistently for me. Another thing that's difficult is calling the trait. You have to time it right because if you don't blow them up when they're on their way down and they're still pretty high, um, you want to get it at the highest range possible. That's too low. Um, and if you don't get it at the highest range possible, you'll forever miss. That was perfect. And the reason I say this is you have to time your disobeying orders combo perfectly for that. If not, you will swing over them and you will miss. It's frustrating, so that's an example. You gotta make sure your time is right. If that is proven too difficult, it's a lot easier to finish with the one, two, and then the back four, three. Uh, you can EX it too, it'll give you about 417 damage. We go ahead and show you what that combo looks like. No matter what character I'm using, my back three is pretty inconsistent. And that's the other option. You get 417 damage. But anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. all of the likes, the shares, everything. You guys are awesome. Uh, and I'm out. Peace.